good morning students now let us revise rolling of two dice simultaneously in this class in the previous class we have revised the concept of rolling a single die when you roll a single die as you know you have six possible outcomes which are from 1 to 6 now in this class let us revise the concept of rolling two dice at a time which is two dice simultaneously when you roll two dice simultaneously the number of possible outcomes increases when compared to the number of possible outcomes when a single die is rolled so when you roll a single die you have only six possible outcomes but when you roll two dice the number of possible outcomes are actually 36 i'll tell you why is this when you roll a single die you have six possible outcomes when you roll two dice the number of six uh, possible outcomes outcomes becomes 6 part 2 which is 36 and similarly when you roll three dice the number of possible outcomes becomes 6 part 3 so like that you can calculate the number of possible outcomes when any number of uh, dice are rolled so in general if n number of dice are rolled simultaneously the number of possible outcomes are 6 power n because 6 is the number of possible outcomes when a single die is rolled now when you roll two dice we can have different possible outcomes different combinations like uh, one on the first day and one on the second day one on the first day and two on the second day one on the first day and three on the same i mean second days and so on so similarly starting from 1 to 1 on the first day you can have 6 and 6 so like this you can have the number of possible outcomes when you roll two dice starting from 1 on the first day and one on the second die two six on the first dice and six on the second die so in gen in total we have six into six thirty six possible outcomes when you roll two dice simultaneously so let us uh, recall some thing some concepts when two dice are rolled simultaneously this is this so as i told you total number of possible outcomes is six power two which is thirty six and among these thirty six there are six possible outcomes in which both the numbers on the top face of the two dice are equal which is 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 and 6 6 so there are six such that among the remaining 30 so out of 36 there are six possible outcomes in which both the outcomes are equal and there are 30 outcomes in which both the outcomes are not equal which are unequal among these there are 15 outcomes in which the number on the first die is smaller than the second one and there are 15 outcomes in which the number on the first die is greater than the second one so when you roll two dice simultaneously we we are asked two type of questions like about the number of outcomes or about the numbers which are on the top face of the dice and there, there is a second concept which is some of the two numbers which are on the top face of the two dice so for example If one first day got two and the second day got three, then you have to add the two numbers, which is two plus three five. So that is the sum of the two numbers on the two dice. So like that, you have there are eleven possible outcomes we have. Sum of the numbers two, sum of the numbers three, sum of the numbers four and so on. Sum of the numbers up to twelve. When does it happen? When both the dice have equal numbers, which are six and six, you have the sum of the numbers twelve. That is the maximum number. and when you roll a die we know that uh, to get a sum of 2 we need one on the first day and again one on the second day so you have one and one then only you will have the sum of the numbers 2 to get the sum of the numbers 3 you have two options which is one on the first day two on the second days and two on the first days and one on the second days and so on you can go on calculate the number of times you get by calculating them or by observing we can see that there are six chances for getting a sum of 7 like 1 6 2 5 3 4 right tell me 4 3 5 2 6 so these are the six possible outcomes and seven has the highest probability of getting a sum of the two numbers when two dies are rolled simultaneously you can observe this graph and you can see the same thing here also so when when you, when you die when you roll two dice simultaneously this is the graph you get for the s above table so from that also you can clearly observe that 7 has the highest chance of getting the sum now when you observe this there are some other points which you can recall and we can see that to get a sum of 
2 and 12, each has only one option that is 1 1 for getting a sum of 2 and 6 6 for getting a sum of 12. So, similarly, so that they have only one chance out of the 36 options. So, probability of getting a sum of 2 and probability of getting a sum of 12 is 1 by 36. And when you take the next case, which is probability of getting a sum of 3 and 11, they are equal and it is 2 by 36. Again, probability of getting a sum of 4 is equal to probability of getting a sum of 10, which is 3 by 36. And when you simplify, you will get 1 by 12. And probability of getting a sum of 5 and sum of 9 is again equal to 4 by 36, which is 1 by 9. And probability of getting a sum of 6 and probability of getting a sum of 8 are 5 by 36. And finally, probability of getting a sum of 7, which is 6 by 36, and in turn you will get it as 1 by 6. You can see that there is only 7 has the highest chance of getting when two dice are rolled simultaneously. So these are the things you have to remember when you solve the problems involving the rolling of two dice simultaneously. So let us solve this problem here then so that you can check your understanding of this uh, concept. So when two dice are rolled simultaneously, find the probabilities of the following events. So here four events are given and you have to calculate the probabilities. So the 2 comes on top face of at least 1 dice. The numbers on both dice are equal. First number is a factor of the second number. That means number on the first dice is a factor of the number on the second dice. Then second number is a prime number which means the number on the second dice is a prime number. So we have 4 problems here. Let us solve 1 by 1. Now the first, first question here is calculating the probability of getting a 2 and at least 1 dice. So now you have to list all the possible outcomes to, of getting 2 on at least one of the dice. So you pause this video for a while. You solve this on your own or you just list out the possibilities of getting 2 on at least one of the dice. Then you continue this. Okay, now I hope you have written the possible outcomes. Let's write them. You have 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, and 6, 2. So getting 2 on the second dice. Now let us write the events. I mean, let us write the possible outcomes of getting 2 on the first dice. We have 2, 1. Actually, there is 2, 2 also there, but we have already written 2, 2 here. So we need not write it here. Then you have 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, and finally 2, 6. So these are the possible outcomes of getting at least 1, 2. That means get at least getting two on one of the dice. So how many possible outcomes are there? Yeah. So there are 11 favorable outcomes. So favorable outcomes for this event are 11. And as you know, let us add the formula ones. So P of probability of getting two on at least one of the dice is number of favorable outcomes divided by number of total possible outcomes. What is the number of favorable outcomes here? We can see here it is 11. And as you know, when two dice are rolled simultaneously, the number of possible outcomes is again 36. So you will have here 11 by 36. So this is the answer of this question. Right now let us do the second one. The numbers on both dice are equal. We have already seen this while you are discussing the concept of rolling two dice just now. And as you know just again you pause this video. You write all the possible outcomes then you resume this video. So the possible outcomes are 1 1. For favorable outcomes are 1 1 2 2 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5 and 6, 6. So these are the 6 favorable outcomes for this event. So again you have to write the formula which is number of favorable outcomes divided by number of possible outcomes. Here it is 6 by 36. When you simplify this, you will have 1 by 6. I hope you have, did, you have done this problem or you have solved this correctly. Let us move to the third one. First number is a factor of the second. So the number on the first dice is a factor of the second. So just again pause this video. You write all the favorable outcomes of this event. Then you resume this video. So let us write them. As we know one is a factor of every number. You can write the favorable outcomes as every combination in which one is the first number. So you can write 1 1, 1 2, 1 3, 1 4, 1 5 and 1 6 because one is a factor of every number. Now you have to take as we have finished writing the outcomes with the number with the first number 1 
Now let us go to the favorable outcomes with the first number 2. So you can have 2, 2 because 2 is a factor of 2. You have 2, 4 and 2, 6. And if you go to the number 3 with the first day, on the first day you have 3, 3, 3, 6. So because 3 is a factor of 3 and 3 is a factor of 6. Then when you come to the case of 4, 4 is a factor of 4. And there is no other number which is a factor of 4. So it is just 4, 4. Then you have starting with 5, you have 5, 5. And finally, you have 6 and 6. So you count the number of favorable outcomes. How many are there? Right. So the number of favorable outcomes are 14. And so the answer is 14 divided by 36. When you simplify this, you will have 7 divided by 18. Right. So these are the kind of questions you will be asked on rolling two dice simultaneously. More number of possibilities are there. So you can be asked any question. So you can be asked on different questions like what is the probability of getting both composite numbers? What is the probability of getting both prime numbers? So that kind of questions will be asked. Now let us move to the next one. Here the question is getting a prime number on the second dice. What are the prime numbers on the dice? As you know, 2, right, 3, nice and 5. So you have to check all the variable outcomes in which number on the second die is fixed to 2, 3 and 5. So you can, you can fix the second number to 2, 3 and 5. Then you can change the first number which is the number on the first die. So you can write all the outcomes with 1 keeping on the first number as the first number. So 1, 2, you will have 1, 3, 1, 5. So that's all. Then you come to the case of 2 on the first day, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 5. Then 3 on the first day, 3, 3, 3, 5, 3, 2. And then you come to the fourth case, which is 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 5. Then with 5, you have 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 5. And finally, when 6 comes on the first day, it is 6, 2, 6, 3 and 6, 5. So what is the total number of favorable outcomes here? Very good. 6, 3 is 18. So again, you have read the formula. Now it is. 18 divided by 36 which comes to be 1 divided by 2. So like this you practice solving the problems on rolling two dice simultaneously. I hope you got this uh, and you understood this video and you just revise the problems from your textbook or from other reading materials which are being provided by the teachers to you. Thank you.